Hi guys, I thought I would share some information with you that I learned today at my free tutoring session at the library regarding the new math, aka Common Core, all that stuff. I figure why um, keep this information to myself? Why not share it with the world? So let me help you guys out there. Okay, we're going to solve 43 minus 13. Now we would normally solve it. 3 minus 3 gives you 0. 4 minus 1 gives you 3. We've got 30. Now we're going to solve it the other way, the new math way. So we have 43 minus 13. You have to write it horizontally for this way, I was told. Yeah. Now we're going to start with this 13. And we're going to try to get this 13 to the next 5. So 5, 10, 15. So 13 plus 2 gives us 15. Now take that 15 plus 5 gives us 20. Okay? Now we're going to take that 20 and fit the nearest 10. Which takes us to 30. Now we're going to take that 30 and get it to the next nearest 10. Which gives us 40. And we want to get up here to that 43. So we're going to take that 40, add 3, and it's going to give us 43. Now, so. Uh, Mr. Landlord. Yeah? Are you smoking an army blanket? Never mind about that. You owe me room rent. All right, here's $28. $28, fine. Just a minute. You owe me 13 weeks at $7 a week, and that happens to be a lot more than $28. Well, that comes to $28. Did you go to school? Yes, sir. Do you mean to say that you can prove that 7 times 13 is 28? Well, it's got to be. Certainly it is, because Mr. Rabbit and I, that, that, that's $28. That's what you get. If you can prove it, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will give you the room rent for nothing. You will? But if you don't prove it, you owe me double the back rent. Is it a deal? That's a deal. Okay. Do you happen to have any Crayola on there? Crayola? Never mind. I got it. Oh, you have? I got the Crayola. The 7 and the 28 is going to come out 13. That's your way. That's my way. And it's got to come out right. Now, first, 
I put down a seven. Right. Now, I'm going to divide the seven into 28. Yeah. I put a 28 there. Okay. Isn't that cute? <clears throat> now, here we go. Seven into two. Seven will not go into two. It will not. That's a very big seven to push into that little bit of two. As you say it is. We ain't going to hurt that little two, are we? Of course you won't. So we take the two. Open your hand. Yes. And I put that two right there for safekeeping. But don't drop it and don't lose it. Now, seven into eight. Once. Once. I put the one over here. One over there. Now, we're going to carry the seven because it's very big and it's getting heavy on my shoulders. And I'm going to drop the seven under there. Now, seven from eight. Is one. Is one. I put the one down there. Mm-hmm. Now it comes. Would you mind opening up your palm of your hand, please? I would like to use that two. Open it up. Give me that two. You've had it long enough. <laughs> I'm going to put that two right there. Now, seven into 21? Three times. That's right. Seven into 28? 13. Oh. Wait, a minute. Wait, a minute. Wait a minute. You have to prove this even better than that. You can prove it very easily by multiplication. You mean you want me to multiply it? No, no, not multiply. Multiply. <laughs> Multiply. All right, all right. All right. Multiply it. Seven times 13 is 28. Go ahead. Now, first, we've got to put down a 13, right? Right. There's a 13. Times seven. Times seven. Right. Seven weeks times 13, right? Seven times three. 21. 21. Seven times one. Seven. Seven. Seven and one. Eight. And two to carry. 28. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm still not convinced. There's one sure way of proving this. One sure way, and that's by addition. You want me to addition it up? I want you to put 13 seven times on that wall and then draw a line and add them up. You want me to put down 13 seven times? That's right. <laughs> it's got to come out right. <laughs> There's one. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the idea of spreading them out like that? Well, it looks like a, a flock of seagulls going to hit the electric poles. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to add them up, right? All right, go ahead. Here we go. Three, six, wait a nine. Minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me do the adding this time. Good. <laughs> Come out right. <laughs> a three, a six, a nine. Just a minute. I will do the adding. Then there'll be no mistake. Yeah? All right. <laughs> Twenty-eight dollars <laughs> All right, sure. Now, go ahead. If you had it, go ahead. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. <laughs>